Huh? That's not true. Wait, what? Where's the rest? Are you, are you telling me this book that's supposed to document all known Minecraft mobs is incomplete? Venture out and explore the vast lands of this blocky realm and eventually discover and document all the fascinating and extraordinary life within. Do we really need to wander around and find all the mobs naturally? Can't we just go into creative mode and spawn all the eggs? I don't know what she's saying. Uh, she hit her head when she came through. What's creative? I don't know. Sounds like cheating to me. Oh. Let's go! Halt! <laughs> Who goes there? Just some merry travellers. Travellers, huh? And what brings you to this nice nest where you can get a phone? Ah, uh, to trade. Fair enough. Pay the gate toll and be on your way. This currency there? Uh, um, good sirs, we currently lack any gold. Uh, perhaps we could, uh, work out a loan or something? Gold? Ha! <laughs> you must be new to these parts. We forwent that around 13 years ago. For since then, strange folk started appearing, going mad and punching the first tree they would lay their eyes upon with their bare fists and eyes. There was pandemonium, I tell you. Our forest started disappearing, our livestock slaughtered, and our once minimum rich land just stripped bare. That's why everyone now pays back to Mother Red instead of each other, to hopefully help heal the damage that has been done. Uh, Ren? You've never heard? Do you not care about the climate crisis where you hail from? What a healthy, wondrous place that must be! Uh. You mean to say people don't even calculate their carbon footprint? Or even have a way to do so? Is that what this uh, Ren does? Oh yes! By channeling her energy, any citizen can access the website where it can easily calculate your own personal carbon footprint. And then, with a monthly contribution, completely offset it, making you carbon neutral. The Great Mother provides it all! This is, a uh, suddenly pretty, um, advanced and, uh, heavy. But of course it is! This is a serious matter that will affect us all in the future to come. Our children's future! Do you expect us to just sit around and treat it like we're... We're in some game! Oh, I meant no disrespect, it's, so it's just like a pay to win, but for life, yeah? My current home realm, uh, uh, town, is experiencing the same problem. Uh, except it's a bit more complex than, uh, just trees. <laughs> I doubt it. What could be more important than trees? The sole providers of the very air we breathe. Why not just give it a go, yeah? Even for a single month to start? Sign up, make a small contribution every time you'll receive updates from the projects you support. And trust me, Ren hosts a great many. You get to see where it goes, with photos and details on every tree planted, every acre reforested, every ton of carbon offset. I'll tell you what, I'll sweeten the already diabetic deal. Offset your carbon footprint on Ren. The first 100 people who sign up They'll have a whole ten extra trees planted in their name and honour. It'll take a lot to end the climate crisis, but you'll at least know you'd be doing your part. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I will. That's a good lass. Please, come through. Our town is rather small, but nevertheless, you'll find all that you need Sense if we could find all the overworld mobs first, right? Okay. 
Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, have you perhaps seen a uh, fungal infested cow in the area lately? Mm hmm. Uh huh. And then left? Oh, okay. Thank you. They didn't, they didn't say anything! Oh, there it is. Oh, they're. They're kind of bigger than I thought they'd be. Are we in the wrong biome to find this mob? Perhaps through some form of symbiotic relationship, fungal spores interact with the host organism's pituitary glands to trigger abnormal production of bovine somatotrophin. Wouldn't that also increase its milk production? Mm -hmm. well, what does the book say? You do know those are just cows, right? We literally have them at home. I'll have a look. Hey! Alright, so lore time. Uh, the mushroom in my head cannon belongs both equally to the boss taurus and fungi family. Therefore, it is naturally found in the biome that can easily host both of these species to dark forest, instead of this fantastical mushroom island mentioned only in fairy tales. Uh, with a plethora of shade, humidity and vegetation, they thrive in this environment, easily growing until they can reach the canopy. Uh, they hardly feel the need to move and can stay in one spot for years on end, being able to absorb nutrition through the fungi it hosts. Uh, there is only ever one mushroom in each dark forest biome, and thus are considered the guardians of it, even though their only defense mechanism is to shut their eyes and pretend you don't exist. Many say because of this, they are always seen surrounded by a herd of wild cows uh, that will do all they can to defend and protect the mushroom, uh, for all cows know that should they ever lose their own herd, a new one will always be waiting for them under the ever-present shade of the mushroom. What are you doing? Watching your backs while you froth over a bloody cow. By, uh, tripping them? That's what it says in the book! Creepers can't get up again once they've fallen and being stone golems can only move forward. So it's not that hard. Huh. Here I thought they were going to be a bit more of a problem. Nope. Oh well, uh, thanks I suppose for doing that. Uh, now we can focus on the next one. Hmm, uh, yeah, I think this drawing is a little bit outdated. Yeah, I'll, uh, make sure to fix it. So, the Endermen, uh, again in my headcanon, are more draconic because they are the children and servants of the Ender Dragon, which, in the future, desperately also needs an update. When an Enderman is born out of an Enderpearl, they are empty husks until the Ender Dragon breathes life into them with her flame. They have an exoskeleton with a ribcage wrapping around a spine that grows both on the front and back, which can expand and fold out when aggroed, releasing more of the contained breath and giving a sort of power boost. Every hundred years or so, they have to go back to the end to be gifted her breath again. Every time this happens, they evolve slightly, being able to contain even more of her flame, thus becoming more powerful. A young and inexperienced Endermen will leak her breath when teleporting, which is why you see the purple particles around them. Elder Endermen rarely venture into the overworld, but when they do, are pretty much impossible to be seen, or stopped before it's too late. I want to do one more. Okay. And then I can go and win back the rank you lost me? Uh, let's do... Uh... Oh, there you are. Wait, you want how many abs? But that's... That's not how... I, what? I don't care if the others say they've got more. You're only getting six. They still didn't say anything. The Raid is a nomadic tribe of elven warriors that have travelled from the desolate, drought and plague-ridden homelands in search for a better life and future. Through generations of hardship, their people have become ruthless and barbaric, pillaging any town they come across, and only the strongest surviving the many trials they inflict upon themselves. Uh, one of the most extreme is the trial of the hammer, that all, both male and female, must undergo if they wish to stay with the tribe and be seen as a true warrior. To mimic the mighty Ravager, the prides of any tribe lucky enough to wrangle as their steeds, monstrous metal pegs are hammered deep into their shoulder blades, with chains then welded and wrapped around them and their weapons to signify that they are truly an extension of themselves. Fun fact! Even hammered at the wrong angle, their elven blood usually allows them to regenerate and restore the shredded nerves and tissue over time, which while often then leads to them looking rather deformed, still remains functional. Nobody knows why they're covered emeralds above all else. Some say that their brilliant green hue reminds them of the verdant forests of their long lost homelands. Although the memory of these lands has faded, it still calls out to them in ways they cannot comprehend. 
Finally, I have gotten around to redesigning more of these suckers. I mean, I have now taken so long getting around to them that pretty much every single previous redesign needs an update. Though saying that, I'm not too fast because it's kind of fun seeing how my styles changed over the years. So yeah, if you want to hear me ramble more on my take on Minecraft and its mobs, uh, let me know. I promise I'll make sure to read every comment even if I don't reply. Uh, they always do give me that boost I need to move on to the next one. So un until then, just uh, keep uh, doing the Minecrafts and other nerdy things. <laughs> Aww, we hardly got through any today. There's always next time. After we've done the overworld, the next stop will be... Oh, the nether! Oh, I can't wait.